Very pleased you are a part of our very first Mid-American Conference television contest of the year. Eastern Michigan has basically destroyed themselves. Now, they're not out of it yet, but after three turnovers, two at the goal line, look at the second-year coach, Ron Cooper. That's some intensity on the Eastern Michigan sideline. Yeah, he's, he's convinced them, hey, you can play with these guys. If We, we just got to quit killing ourselves. And this game ain't over either. And he's, I mean, make sure that he's telling him that. Make sure you know that he's telling him that. There's still 7.49 up on the clock. And Eastern's shown they can move the ball today. They're going to get a chance to do that right now. Derek Shorey's got it lined up. Ronnie Rice on the gallop at the 10. Oh, helmet came off as he came across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Just a major stick from Tom Pate. Pate out of uh, Hamilton Baden. Oh, what a crunching stick that took Ronnie Rice's headgear off. I'm not sure Rice isn't the one who delivered the stick here. Let's take a listen to this pop. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I'll say it again. That's so you want to play special teams, huh? <laughs> I love to see that stuff, boy, I tell you. You have to love that from Tommy Pate, too. I mean, here's a kid, a DB. He's a, uh, a red shirt, a fourth-year junior here out of Hamilton Baden. Worked his way on special teams. And, oh, you know he's just geeked up about that huge stick. This is Savon Edwards on the call. Not a lot of running room. Vinny Palco will take him down upstairs and downstairs on the hit for Bowling Green's Falcons. Tawan Smith, the redshirt freshman. Go back to Michael Parker on the draw player. Keelan Cates, excuse me, on the touchdown scamper. Just good blocking all the way around. Cates sticks it right up the gut. No dancing from him. He goes straight for pay dirt. And that's a big score for the Falcons. Rico Bryant, Bristol Green, wide left for quarterback Michael Armour. Whitfield in motion as we come back live. Armour to put it up. Whitfield in and out of his hands, incomplete. Heard the footsteps of George Johnson and Willie Gibson. Johnson off that boundary corner. Gibson coming from the outside. Backer spot, third and ten, Eastern Michigan. Johnson's made some big plays today. He comes up and uh, he really brings it. You hear a lot of plastic popping and, and uh, going off there when he brings a hit in there. And you do that enough, and pretty soon receivers are going to start looking around for you. And I think that might be the case in that last play. He's out of Sarasota, Florida. And as I said, he started at BG as a tailback and moved over to the defensive side of the ball and looks right at home. He and Everhart on the other side have been just uh, magnificent today. Yeah, he decided he'd rather hit people than get hit. Not a bad decision. Third and ten, Michael Armour's got to have a play. Here they come. Gibson on a blitz in the middle. Savon Edwards has got it. Can he get to the sticks? Oh, it's going to be real close. He needed to hit the 31-yard line to keep this drive alive. The 36-yard line, excuse me. It is very, very close, but I believe we're going to move the change. Yeah, first yep. down, Eastern Michigan. Good job by Edwards fighting forward and getting that first down yardage. That's a critical first down. As the Falcons need two scores at least to get back into this ball game. I say Falcons. I'm in eagle. The freshman flyer, Savon Edwards, back at that tail as you see motion right now in the eastern backfield. Off play action, quick out route. Intercepted Willie Gibson. He could go. 20, needs one block, 15, 10, dragged down from behind by Savon Edwards at the six-yard line. Wait a minute, flag on the play back at the 30-yard line. This one could come back, but in and out of the hands of Stephen Whitfield. Yeah, they're going to call holding, I think, against Bowling Green. Well, before the interception or on the return? That we'll have to wait and find out. Now, if it's before the pick, Eastern Michigan's going to get the football. If it's on the return, BG will have it on the Willie Gibson interception in and out of the hands of Stephen Whitfield. You have a holding on the green. Decline. They pointed the wrong way. <laughs> Well, we'll forgive him for it, just this once anyway. Great play. You know, this this is one of those look what I found deals. Let's take a look at it. The ball hits uh, St Stephen Whitfield right in the hands. And it, it bounces off. Look at it. Bounces right off the chest and right into the hands 
of Willie Gibson, and he takes off down the sideline and puts Bowling Green in position to really slam the door shut here. Fifth Eastern Michigan turnover as Willie Gibson rambled it back up this near sideline down to the seven yard line, and Eastern Michigan had opportunity after opportunity to put points on the board. They've turned it over in their last four possessions. That's too bad. Willie Gibson, he's going to take some ribbon for not making it to the end zone. You don't get many chances like that as a linebacker. Michael Parker now at the tail in the eye. This is Parker on the toss sweep. Not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as he was taken down. The hit from Yousef Dibbles. Dibbles, who has played just outstanding defensive football all year long for Ron Cooper. He does a great job of getting off blocks and getting upfield penetration. You see him get there and make a big tackle here in the backfield. And Hey, Eastern's down, but I don't think they're out just yet. Not yet. Clock on the move, though. We will uh, get inside six minutes left in the contest uh, on this Bowling Green snap. 23-13, Bowling Green by 10. Martin and Red wide right for Ryan Henry on second and 11. Off play action, looking to the end zone. A lot of time. Henry to Red. Got it. Touchdown. Runny Red. Bowling Green's Falcons. That should just about do it for BG. Red's just too fast, and he, and he keeps running the pattern. Henry's sc scrambling around in there. He's looking for somebody to break open, and we've seen it all day long. Ronnie Red breaks open. He keeps running them patterns, and he's got enough speed that he eventually will pop open. Henry has the composure. Drop the ball to him in the back of the end zone. It's another six points for Bowling Green. 11-yard touchdown toss, their second hookup of this afternoon and evening from Ryan Henry to Ronnie Red. Second TD pass, Henry, second TD catch, Red. Ryan Lever, perfect on the PAT. And what was a three-point contest but a couple of minutes ago has been blown out to a 17-point Bowling Green lead with 5.43 left for Ronnie Red. As we said, his second touchdown catch today and that is number 21 in his Bowling Green career, which now ties him on the BG all-time touchdown career list. Let's watch TD Red here. Look at in the back of the end zone, you see him coming open. Right here, you'll see him coming open. They just can't, they don't have the speed. Newman doesn't have the speed to keep up with him, and if you give Henry that long, Red or, or Martin or somebody's going to break open for him and... and Brian Henry's done a great job of, of scrambling around in that pocket and finding the receiver that does break open late in the play all day long. We've been telling you about these just magnificent wide receivers, Ronnie Red and Ramir Martin. Red in the first play of the contest extended his pass catch streak to 38 games. That bettered the mark of a couple of very fine Falcon wideouts, Stan Hunter and Mark Slaycheck. And now Ronnie Red's 21 touchdown receptions ties Stan Hunter for the top spot in school history. Now Ronnie Red is racking up and surpassing school marks left and right here in his Bowling Green career. He's going to enjoy that trip down I-75 back down there to Bowling Green. Ronnie Rice will not come out as Derek Shore Eyes puts it eight yards deep in the end zone, so Eastern Michigan has got 5.43 left to make up a whole bunch of points, 17 of them. Well, when they go to the tail of the tape on this one, it's going to be turnovers. You look at the scoring drive here, only 49 seconds, two plays, seven-yard drive, Ronnie Red, the 11-yard catch. But uh, as I was saying, the turnovers, and that's what really will kill you, especially in a close ball game. This was a very close mm -hmm. ball game all the way through into the fourth quarter, three-point game, and then the turnovers come back to haunt the Eagles. They've turned it over five times as Eastern Michigan, and of course, you win the fourth quarter, you're probably going to win a football game, and all Bowling Green's done is collected three turnovers in this quarter and turned them into 14 points, a couple of touchdowns. That'll win you a lot of football games. You got that right. Movement up front, we'll have to wait and see. Referee Don Amicone sorted out to see if it was induced by Eastern Michigan or did BG encroach. You look at turnovers on the year, and Eastern now is a minus seven. You have a dead ball, right legal procedure on the offense, still first. They're a minus seven in their turnover ratio. And, and Bowling Green, on the other hand, they're a plus nine now. And that's that's the tale. Back when I played in Buffalo, Marv Levy, that's the one thing that he harped on above all else is that turnover ratio. And 
uh, holding on to the ball and taking it away. Look at Armour's numbers. Not bad numbers except for those interceptions there. That, that really, those came back and hurting. He's really thrown the ball well throughout the course of the afternoon. The turnovers at the goal line hurt. Armour's got a...